Please remain standing. We will now have the presentation of the colors and the playing of the national anthem. The colors will be presented by the Joint Service Color Guard of the University of Memphis's United States Army Naval and Air Force Reserve Officer Training Corps. The national anthem will be sung by baritone J. Daniel Altman. Daniel is receiving his master's degree in vocal performance this morning. Good morning, please be seated. I am David Rudd, the University of Memphis Provost, and let me welcome you to the fall convocation of the 102nd commencement of the University of Memphis. We are extremely proud of our graduating class today. We will award a total of 1,581 degrees from the 11 schools and colleges that make up the university. During this ceremony, we will recognize 538 graduates in three of our colleges and one of our schools. Let's go ahead and give them a round of applause. I can guarantee you these 538 individuals have worked remarkably hard uh, for this accomplishment. Later, we will recognize the remainder of our graduates uh, this, this afternoon. That will bring the number of degrees awarded since 1912 to nearly 156,000. At this time, I would like to introduce some special members of the platform party who will participate in today's ceremony. 
please stand as you are introduced. Dr. Silverna Ford, Dean of the University Libraries. Ms. Linda Bonin, Vice President for Communications, Public Relations, and Marketing. Ms. Julie Johnson, Vice President for Advancement. Mr. David Zettergren, Vice President for Business and Finance. Ms. Ellen Watson, Chief Information Officer and Vice Provost of Information Technology. Dr. Rosie Phillips Bingham, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Richard Evans, President of the Faculty Senate. Dr. Marion Levy, Assistant Dean, School of Public Health. Dr. Dr. Rick Swigert, Dean of the Herf College of Engineering. Dr. Ernie Rayko, Associate Dean, College of Education, Health and Human Sciences. Dr. Lynn Zahn, Dean of the Lowenberg School of Nursing. Dr. Rajiv Grover, Dean of the Fogelman College of Business and Economics. And Dr. Maurice Mendel, Dean of the School of Communication Sciences and Disorders. It is my pleasure to introduce to you today Mr. Ricky Kirby, President of the Student Government Association. Ricky is a junior and he's major in marketing. Let me just say, Ricky has done a fabulous job uh, this year. Ricky? Congratulations, graduates. Nelson Mandela was a South African anti-apartheid revolutionary, politician, and philanthropist who served as president of South Africa from 1994 to 1999. He was the first black South African to hold the office and the first elected in a fully representative democratic election. His government focused on dismantling the legacy of apartheid through tackling institutionalized racism, poverty and inequality, and fostering racial reconciliation. Before being elected president, Mandela served 27 years in prison. An international campaign lobbied for his release, which was granted in 1990 amid escalating civil strife. In his first interview in the United States with Miss Oprah Winfrey, Oprah asks Mandela, how does a man spend 27 years in prison, put there by an oppressor, and come out of that experience with not a heart of stone, not a cold heart, but a heart that is willing to forgive and to embrace? to which Mandela quickly responds, if I had not been to prison, I would not have been able to achieve the most difficult task in life, and that is changing yourself, an opportunity to sit down and think. When I think of a difficult task, changing myself is not the, certainly not the first thing that comes to mind. However, when I think about it a little more, I realize the wisdom in Mandela's comment. One of the hardest things I've ever had to do in life is from time to time, look at myself in the mirror and make the decision to create some serious changes in my life. We live in a world full of change, and we have to be willing to change and be flexible at all points in our lives. Growth is a form of change, and if we are not constantly changing, we are not constantly growing. At the point where we are not able to adapt and change to work in and make a difference in the world around us, we become less of an asset and hurt our, hurt our chances at future opportunities. Graduates, as you go out in the world today, I challenge you to sit down, to think, and to look at yourself every day and be willing to and be strong enough to make changes in your life so that you can achieve and experience things you never thought were possible. Never become complacent and always strive for greatness. And on your way there, do not give up, do not give in, and never ever listen to people that tell you that you can't or that you aren't good enough and know that you are always a Memphis Tiger and Memphis Tigers never give up and always give back. Graduates from the Student Government Association and the other 21,000 students are to be sitting right where you are in the near future. Congratulations. Hey, Ricky. Uh, thank you, Ricky. You confirm my judgment. You have done a fabulous job. Uh, we have always enjoyed the presence of members of the Tennessee Board of Regents at our commencement exercises. Today, we have the Honorable Gregory M. Duckett, uh, with us. He is Senior Vice President of Baptist Memorial Healthcare Corporation, a member of our Board of Visitors, and most importantly, a 1985 graduate of the Cecil Humphrey School of Law. Mr. Duckett brings greetings. Please come forward. Thank you, Dr. Rutt. Uh, one of the things I will say and ask next year if I'm on the pro program, and that is to let me go before uh, Ricky because he did a tremendous job on behalf of myself uh, 
And in addition to being Senior Vice President at Baptist Healthcare Corporation, I'm the Chief Legal Officer there. But one of the other roles that I play on behalf of the great state of Tennessee is I now have the privilege of serving as the Chairman of the Search Committee to identify the next President of this great institution. Uh, but I would be remiss if I would not thank uh, Brad Martin for the tremendous job that he has done in stepping in and providing interim leadership uh, to this great institution. And for that, the members of the Board of Regents extend a sincere thank you to Brad for the work that he has done. <laughs> On behalf of the governor of this great state, Governor Bill Haslam, Chancellor Morgan, who oversees the uh, Board of Regents for us, and on behalf of my colleagues who serve on the board, it is my distinct pleasure to extend a dynamic uh, and warm congratulations to you, the members of this graduating class of the University of Memphis. The Tennessee Board of Regents, as a system, we are comprised of 46 institutions, including the University of Memphis. We have a combined enrollment of over 200,000 students. That makes us one of, it makes us the sixth largest public higher education systems uh, in our nation. Here at the University of Memphis, with an annual enrollment of approximately 22,000 students, I'm extremely proud of the level of performance, achievement, and accomplishments here at this university. As students of this great institution, you have been able to witness and experience the University Center, which includes a 24-hour technology hub, computer lab, spectacular skylit atrium, student involvement zone, and several dining options. You've seen the renovations of the U.S. Custom House and Post Office, which is located in downtown Memphis, and it has been reopened as the new location for the Cecil C. Humphrey School of Law. We've also seen the establishment of the Lambeth Campus. This high level of performance and academic excellence is also evident in today's graduating class. As the, the university will honor you, as now graduates of the University of Memphis, today you are making your own history by being one of 1,581 graduates in this fall's graduate, graduation class from this institution's 11 colleges and schools with more than 15 back bachelor degrees and more than 50 majors and 70 concentrations, master's degrees in over 45 subjects, and doctoral degrees in 21 disciplines, specialist degrees in education and juris doctor. Today, graduates, be proud of your accomplishments. Be proud of your university, the University of Memphis. And I congratulate you on your achievements and continued success in life. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Duckett. It is also my distinct pleasure to be able to introduce to you the president of the University of Memphis, Mr. Brad Martin. Please join me in welcoming President Martin. Thank you. Thank you, Provost Rudd, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You know, a, uh, a commencement ceremony is a time of recognition. It's a time of celebration. It's a time of appreciation. Occasionally, it's a time of inspiration. And no doubt, that's what we're going to experience today. When I began to think about who we might invite today to share a commencement message with us, I had a clear first choice. And it was Dr. James Eason, and he was kind enough to accept. As is the case with those we will recognize with their academic achievements today, Dr. Eason spent years in academic preparation, and training to develop the analytical and technical skills which have helped propel him to the top of his profession as a transplant surgeon. At David Lipscomb, the University of Tennessee Center for Health Sciences, Harvard, and others, he distinguished himself with his academic credentials 
and his preparation for his life's work. Relocating to Memphis after the devastation in New Orleans of Hurricane Katrina, he launched and built the transplant center at Methodist University Hospital into one of the most important in the world. And ladies and gentlemen, that's right here in Memphis, Tennessee. Dr. Eason is a scholar. Dr. Eason is a teacher. Dr. Eason is a scientist. He's a healer. He's a counselor. And he's a leader. And those are attributes that we prize and that we extol at the University of Memphis. But those close to Dr. Eason and his work know he's much more. They know that he is a man driven to execute a life-saving and life-sharing mission with extraordinary integrity and compassion. Would you give a warm Memphis Tiger welcome to Dr. James Eason? Wow, thank you for that flattering introduction, President Martin. This is truly a, a wonderful day for all of you graduates, parents, and other families. Um, I would like to add to uh, uh, Dr. Martin two of my most important uh, uh, parts of my life is uh, I'm a husband to Laura Eason and I'm a father to Sydney Eason and Claire Eason who thankfully uh, uh, gave me part of their time today. Um, and I thank my family and friends for being here. When President Martin first uh, uh, approached me about giving this address, uh, we had actually just been talking about how uh, uh, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton was getting $200,000 uh, for an hour speech. And so I agreed to do this for half that much, and I told him I would speak <laughs> twice as long. So everyone, everyone please get comfortable. This morning, I'd like to talk about four things. In transplant surgery, there are four major factors that we consider every day that I think may be applicable here today. There are risks and there are benefits, there are complications and there are outcomes. Now that you have finished college or pr your professional degree, the real tests are going to begin for you. These are the ones faced in everyday life. In my field of transplant surgery, every day is one of life or death. Each patient faces a choice to do what it takes to receive a transplant or die. Each choice has inherent risks and benefits, which are two important things I want to speak about. Risks and benefits. In the situation of these patients, their choice is to accept the risks of the transplant operation, which may be great or not. However, if they don't take the risk, they can't get the benefit, which is life. Hopefully your choices won't be life or death in the near future, but you know, none of us are getting out of here alive. So you may have to make these choices. Soon you will make or have already made choices about jobs, careers, or going on to further education and I'm sure your parents are hoping you're going to be on someone else's payroll soon. You have to be willing to take the risks to get the benefits. There's no successful person that got where they are in life without taking some risk. You may be struggling to make decisions about relationships, whether to start or end relationships, or starting a family. Many of you may already have families and be parents and are going through choices and, and struggles with that. All of these have great rewards, but you have to take the risk to get there. Take the risk, build lifelong relationships and family ties. These are the people that will be your source of happiness and support forever and pull you through the hard times. Sometimes the risks you take may not provide benefit directly to you, but provide benefit for others, for someone else, or for groups of people. Benefits that come from your service. Reach out and take those risks. You can bring great benefit to other people 
and in turn receive great benefit from your work. Don't be afraid to take a stand. Take the risk. Who knows, you may influence others to take the risk with you. And don't settle for the easy route. Go out, get what you want. Don't follow the pack and stay in your comfort zone. You gotta choose the benefits you want in your life and take the risk to fulfill your dreams. You're all intelligent and have crossed a big hurdle now. However, there's no substitute for hard work. Intelligence is only part of the puzzle. You have to be willing to roll up your sleeves and dig in to succeed. Like you, I am a product of uh, Tennessee public schools and, and Tennessee State higher education. In my training, I had the uh, opportunity to do transplant surgical training at Harvard University, which was very intimidating at first for a guy from Jackson, Tennessee. However, that while I was surrounded by some really smart people and some people that came from great privileged backgrounds, I found that hard work and determination overcame that privilege every time. And you can do whatever you want. You have to be willing to take the risk to get the benefits. Also in <clears throat> transplant surgery, unfortunately, sometimes there are complications. These may be bleeding, infections, organ failure, or other disease. We have to treat and correct these situations to have a successful outcome. In life, you will have complications. They may be economic hardship, they may be relationship problems or health problems, and you will face criticism. These are like complications. You have to treat them and address them head on. Stop the bleeding, put your finger on it. Trust me, it works. Something I've become very aware of in the last week is not everybody agrees with my decisions. Hard to imagine, but true. And they won't agree with all of yours. You never know where the torpedoes are coming from, but just know they're coming and be ready to tackle them when they come. Make decisions and take the risks that can withstand criticism. Be willing and able to stand up for what you believe in. Don't let your complications or your critics cripple you. The right choices are not necessarily the easiest or the most popular, quite the contrary. Make the choices you are willing to fight for, and whether you win or lose, you will know in your heart it was the right thing to do. Believe in yourself and do not let other people determine your worth or your limits. Only you have the power to determine your fate, and it's going to be directly related to your actions. You will make mistakes, and you may make bad decisions, but be willing to make those decisions. Take the risk, take the responsibility, and manage your complications. I know, because I've made many mistakes along the way, I've become an expert in many of them. I've been accused of being often wrong, but never in doubt. So learn from your mistakes and get back up. Don't be afraid to take the risks again. Accept help from others. Surround yourself with intelligent, hardworking people that care about you and can help you overcome complications and help you correct mistakes and get you on the right path. The fourth thing that we deal with in transplant surgery and is important today is outcomes. A surgeon or institution is going to be judged by their outcomes. In today's age, information is available at the click of a button and your successes and failures can be immediately available and broadcast to anyone with the internet. In my field, if I'm doing a good job, one out of every 10 patients who gets a liver transplant will die in the first year. However, 90% will live and they have to be willing to take the risks to have the outcome of life and be in that 90%. You will also be judged by your outcomes, whether it's in business, law, healthcare, 
art, music, or whatever path you choose, you will be judged by your outcomes. You will also be judged by your relationship outcomes. Make them count. Overcome mistakes and complications to achieve excellent outcomes. And finally, now as you graduate, you finally know everything, just like your parents and teachers. I encourage you to go out there and take the risk. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Eason, for some fabulous advice. It is greatly appreciated. We will now recognize each of our graduates. And um, I'm going to ask you to join us in acknowledging their accomplishments. Let me draw your attention, if you haven't noticed, the large overhead screen that will allow you to have a close-up of each one of the candidates. I can't imagine that, uh, that you would have missed it uh, at this point, but, but it is there, and I need to point it out to you. Um, the candidates for the doctoral degrees will be presented by Dr. Karen Weddle-West, Dean of the Graduate School and Vice Provost for Academic Affairs uh, and Director of University Initiatives. Dr. Weddle-West. President Martin, I present the candidates for the doctoral degrees. Will all the doctoral candidates please rise and remain standing? President Martin, on behalf of the graduate faculty of the university, I recommend that the appropriate degrees be conferred. Ladies and gentlemen of the graduating class, upon certification by the graduate school that you have fulfilled all of the requirements for graduation, and by the authority vested in me by the Tennessee Board of Regents, I confer upon each of you the doctoral degree that you have earned and admit to you all rights, privileges, responsibilities appertaining thereunto, and you will receive the appropriate, very hard-earned diploma. Congratulations. The following candidates have earned the Doctor of Musical Arts degree. Francis Nidwaza is receiving the Doctor of Musical Arts from the Rudy E. Scheidt School of Music, Dr. Richard R. Ranta, Dean, Dr. Janet Page, Major Professor. The following candidates have earned the Doctor of Philosophy degree. Hakirat Singh Bedi is receiving the Doctor of Philosophy from the Department of Computer Science. Dr. Thomas Neenan, Interim Dean. Dr. Shajan Shiva, Major Professor. Dr. King Ip Lin, Assisting in the Hooding. Serge Antoine Salan is receiving the Doctor of Philosophy through the Department of Computer Science. Dr. Thomas Neenan, Interim Dean. Dr. King Ip Lin, Major Professor. <laughs> Tara Lynn Bradley is receiving the Doctor of Philosophy through the Department of Psychology. Dr. Thomas Neenan, Interim Dean. Dr. Elizabeth Meisinger, Major Professor. Jonathan David Berlinson is receiving the Doctor of Philosophy, Hooding Professor Dr. William Dwyer. Thank you. 
William Edwin DeVore is receiving the Doctor of Philosophy through the Department of Earth Sciences, Dr. Thomas Neenan, Interim Dean, Dr. David H. Dye, Major Professor. Rina Bryant King is receiving the Doctor of Philosophy through the Department of Mathematical Sciences, Dr. Thomas Neenan, Interim Dean, Dr. James E. Jamison, Major Professor, Dr. Fernanda Botello, assisting in the hooding. We will now hear from Mr. Peter Letsu, Dean of the Cecil Humphrey School of Law. Will the, excuse, will the candidates for the Juris Doctor degree in the Cecil C. Humphrey School of Law please rise? President Martin, on behalf of the faculty of the school, I recommend that the appropriate degree be conferred. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class, with the approval of the faculty of the Cecil C. Humphreys School of Law and upon the certification of the dean that you have fulfilled all of the requirements for graduation and by the authority vested in me by the Tennessee Board of Regents, I confer upon each of you the Juris Doctor degree and declare that you're entitled to all rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations. The Cecil C. Humphreys School of Law, Dean Peter Letsu. The following candidates have earned the Juris Doctor degree. Ryan Travis Cherry. <laughs> William Andrew Dement. Christina Z. Gibson. Mary Christine Murray. Ryan Edward Thompson. William Drayton Thornton. Princess Monique Woodard. At this time, President Martin will confer the, gra the graduate degrees. Dean Weddle West will introduce the candidates. Will all the candidates for the specialist and master's degrees please rise and remain standing. Specialist and master's degrees. President Martin, on behalf of the graduate faculty of the university, I recommend that the appropriate degrees be conferred. Ladies and gentlemen of the graduating class, upon certification by the graduate school that you have fulfilled all of the requirements of graduation and with the authority vested in me by the Tennessee Board of Regents, I confer upon each of you the degree that you have earned. And I admit to you all rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto, and we will give you the appropriate diploma. Please be seated.
President Martin, the deans of the colleges and schools of the candidates for the baccalaureate degree will present the undergraduate candidates as presented in the program. As your college is introduced, please rise and remain standing for the conferral of the baccalaureate degree. Dr. Dan Lattimore, Vice Provost for Extended Programs and Dean of University College. Will all candidates for the baccalaureate degrees from the University College please stand. President Martin, on behalf of the faculty of the University College, I recommend that the appropriate degrees be conferred. Thank you, please be seated. Dr. Richard R. Ranta, Dean of the College of Communication and Fine Arts. Will all the candidates with the baccalaureate degrees from the College of Communi Communication and Fine Arts please rise and remain standing. President Martin, on behalf of the faculty of the college, I recommend that the appropriate degrees be conferred. You may be seated. Dr. Tom Neenan, Vice Provost Assessment, Reporting and Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Will all of the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees from the College of Arts and Sciences please rise and remain standing? <laughs> President Martin, on behalf of the faculty of the college, I recommend that the appropriate degrees be conferred. Please be seated. Now, one more time, will all the candidates for the baccalaureate degree please rise? Every one of you, again. All right, here you go. Ladies and gentlemen of the graduating class of the undergraduate schools and colleges of the University of Memphis, with the approval of the undergraduate faculties of the university and upon certification by the dean of your college that you have fulfilled all of the requirements for your graduation. And with the authority vested in me by the Tennessee Board of Regents, I confer upon each of you the degree that you have so deservedly earned and admit to you all rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto. And now it is customary that you move your tassel from the right to the left, signifying that you have earned this baccalaureate degree. Please be seated. I, I, I don't know. I, I think you may have to give him one more round of applause. I, I can tell you as a parent, I would be just as thrilled if my son or daughter was graduating. Uh, at this time, we would like to recognize three undergraduate students who have earned a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Uh, what a remarkable accomplishment. Let me say that again. We're going to recognize three students that have earned 4.0 GPAs. And let me ask you to stand when your name is called. Ms. Megan Nichols is receiving the Bachelor of Arts degree from the College of Communication and Fine Arts. Megan, would you please stand? Congratulations, Megan. Uh, Ms. Mally Marie Dennis and Ms. Allison Nicole Lawler, would you both please stand? Both Mally and Allison are receiving the Bachelor of Arts degree from the College of Arts and Sciences. Congratulations to all of you, your parents and family. I'm sure are thrilled and very proud. You may be seated. Undergraduates who have distinguished themselves in their academic work by graduating with honors are listed in the program and can be identified by their honor cords. As I identify each honors group, please stand. Gold signifies summa cum laude. Would you please stand?
Thank you. Be seated. Red signifies magna cum laude. Would you please stand? Thank you. You can be seated. And white signifies cum laude. Would you please stand? Thank you, you can be seated. Phi Kappa Phi is the University of Memphis's highest all-discipline academic honor society. It represents the top 5% of each college or school on campus. Would all of the members of Phi Kappa Phi, including the faculty and the administration, please rise and be recognized. Thank you. We are pleased to have with us today Ms. Anita Vaughn. Ms. Vaughn is a life member and president of the National Alumni Association Board and CEO of Baptist Memorial Hospital for Women. She was named as Outstanding Alum of the College of Arts and Sciences in 2005. Ms. Vaughn received both her bachelor's and master's from the University of Memphis, and we are ever so proud to call her an alum. Ms. Vaughn brings remarks on behalf of the Alumni Association. Thank you, Dr. Rudd. Greetings and congratulations, graduates from the Alumni Association. Today is the first day of your life as an alumna or alumni of the University of Memphis. With this honor comes responsibility, responsibility to the university and to each other as alumni. You now join the ranks of such notable alums as Fred Thompson, former uh, senator and actor, Bernice Donnell, judge for the federal court uh, district, Anthony Penny, Penny Hardaway, former NBA player and a Memphis philanthropist, Joanna Edwards, author, New York Times bestseller list, and our interim president, Mr. Brad Martin who is a former student ambassador and a previous distinguished alumni recipient. With this badge of distinction, you've got a responsibility to speak well of the university and stay connected to the Alumni Association. The Alumni Association is pleased to present each of you with a complimentary first year associate membership to the Alumni Association, which will be mailed with your diploma. You have more than 70 clubs, chapters, and programs based on academics, geography, and special interests which you may join. Because of devoted alumni, our great university will become one of the best metropolitan research institutes, institutions in our country. Every great city deserves a great university, and every great university deserves great alumni. You are our future, you are our alumni, you are true blue, you are the University of Memphis Alumni Association. Congratulations. Thank you, Anita. And now is uh, time to recognize each of our graduates individually. Each college will now proceed to the stage. The graduate students precede the undergraduate students by college or school. The graduates who have earned a degree in the University College, Dr. Dan L. Lattimore, Dean. Susan Clark Spar, student marshal, University College, is receiving the Bachelor of Liberal Arts degree. The following candidates have earned the Master of Arts in Liberal Studies degree. Sharon Nicole Milbrook. Justin G. Nelson. Myron Lamont Varlow Walters. The following candidates have earned the Master of Professional Studies. Sandra K. Barksdale. Kristen Aaron Bramlett. Farron Montanez Hicks. 
Sandra Anthony Bray, Ashley Nicole Holloway, Carrie Lynn Means, James Edward Stone, Lisa Yates. The following candidates have earned the Bachelor of Liberal Studies degree. Susan Elizabeth Young. Walter J. Babino. Crystal Nicole Greenlee. Jonathan Nichols Moore. Michael Terry Sassin. Gregory R. Akers. Nathaniel P. Arnold. Christopher Lee Baker, Frankie Boer, Laura Camille Braslow, Anthony Lee Brown, Morgan Marie Brown, Kadarius Tavoskia Buckingham, Jessica Lauren Burton, William C. Carter III, Ashley Danielle Chalmers, Kenneth Abraham Ellis, Andrea D. Fincher, Shaquana Camille Gatley, William Frederick Harlow III, Joseph N. Jackson, Duran Jones, Stephanitra Lashanta Kindle, Christopher Michael Moore, Andrew Lee Niblock, Brittany Latrice Payne, Fallon Faith Pete, Janice Kathleen Peoples, Tiffany Sade Randolph, Lauren Nicole Steinkamp, Kaizi Taylor, Anisha R. Tate, Tierra Shantai Turner, Christine Watson. The following candidates have earned the Bachelor of Professional Studies degree Jesse William Anderson, Rula S. Asali. Timothy Frederick Bentley, Crystal Velvet Bain, Lauren Sudan Ganavanos, Iris Lenora Hines, Robin Brasher Harwell, Melinda Evelyn Kate, Taylor Deanne Reap, Denisha N. Winfrey, Rachel Catherine Adams, Katie Suzanne Bly, Sharon M. Cohen, Joanne Estelle Edley, Brianna Michelle Finney, Hope Oria Mai Francis, Carol Keys George, Brandy Nicole Gillespie, Mabry Lane Harris, Nicole L. Matthews, Kristen Nicole Moore, Kimberly Renee Nickelberry, Mary Galloway Sesley, Charlene Shackelford, Madison K. Shepard, Anna K. Todd, Fallon Nicole White, Carrie Michael Adams, Shina Nicole Aldridge. Donna Amewule. Ashley Eileen Arnwine. Leslie Stefan Barrett. Crystalyn Andronette Bell. Alvante Bon. Jacqueline Ann Brown. Shanisa Patrice Brown. Sharice Jeanette Butler. Kashina Nicole Byers. Sira T. 
Capehart. Corina Kathleen Carson. Eric Antonio Coates. Veronica Janice Cobb. Kelsey Breck Cooper. Joandine Marie Connor. Jamisa Hene Couch. Clay T. Darrow. Terry Dacus Davis. Lakeisha Tate Dawson. Kirk Richard Dickerson. Sanderlin Nevada Dodd. Amarcia T. Drains. Constance A. Dunnigan. Kathy Bates Dunn. Patric Patricia E. Ernest. Cotina Epps. Kelsey Ray Fortner. Vittoria Fulivov. Bianca Renee Gale. Princess Dante Galloway. Amanda Elise Galloway. Jerry Foster Gardner. LaDonna Gibson. August Elizabeth Glenn. Brittany K. Glover. Dionka Nicole Gray. Shakira Tunisia Hamlet. Erin Rachel Hansen. Latasha L. Hardy. Jessica Shaniqua Hardy. Sandra L. Harshaw. Raven Janae Henderson. Kristen LaShawn Hilliard. Allison Nicole Hotz. Rachel Lynn Howard. Charity Renee Irvin. Alina Rose Jackson. Jalisa Jefferson. Jordan Andrew Johnson. Dana S. Johnson. Twana Nicole Jones. Keira Tenille Jones. Kindra Chavette Jones. Hyunju Kim. Richard King II. Emmanuel Nicole Kirk. Tamara Denise Lance. Constant Lester. Tara Lynn Lewis. Matt Jonathan Lincoln. Aisha M. Livingston. Fatmata Abilary Madden Jackson. Chelsea Elizabeth Lundy. Robert Michael Maybury. Melba Louise Malone. Kamitra M. Malone. Robert M. Mason. Latoya McCullough. Denise Martha McCurtain. Rachel Jean McDonald. Latasha McLaughlin. Petunia Samukizo Malanga Rayner. Kelsey Morgan M. McGlory. Albert Milbrook. Shanita Monquette Miller. Mark Richard Mills. Kyla Danelle Moore. Presley Darla Morrissey. Amber Nicole Moss. Shabrika N. Nesbitt. Ava Y. Newman. Portia Moniqua Payne. Jasmine Latrice Pollard. Jessica Lenaise Pollard. Tyra Shaquise Powell. Evan A. Rhodes. Turiana Vonche Robertson. Wakaya Salisbury. Amber Renee Schultz. Jessica Marie Siebeck. Mallory Page Shelton. Keira Strickland. Brian Andrew Sarecki. Marche Phoenicia Taylor. Lauren Brooke Thompson. 
Erica Rochelle Tucker, Carmen Ashley Ventrini, Lauren Wallace, Maria Danelle Wallace, Joya D. Watt, Jonathan Blake White, Rashunda A. Williams, Joe L. Williams, Latoya Williamson, These are the graduates who've earned a degree in the College of Communication and Fine Arts, Dr. Richard R. Ranta, Dean. Megan Nichols, Student Marshal, College of Communication, is receiving the Bachelor of Arts degree. The following candidates have earned the Master's of Arts degree. Pamela Freeman Avery. Brett Joseph Bilbrey. Laura M. Fenton. Stephen Lewis Hildreth, Timothy L. Miller, Jr., Holly Lauren Snyder. The following candidates have earned the Master of Fine Arts degree. Kathy Denise Barnes. The following candidates have earned the Bachelor of Arts degree. Lauren Chupacci. Miriam Michelle Pikaichi. Amy Renee Adams. Joy Lynn Harrison. The following candidates have earned the Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. Emily Ann Binford. St uh, Stephen Andrew Black. Mar Marlon William Turner II. Lauren Michelle Delmonico. Shannon Davis Charns. Georgian Alvina DeMille. Catherine Elizabeth Hicks, Charisse Normand, Melissa Stephanie Randall, Corey Ashton White, Alexandria Danelle Carter, Chelsea Nicole Hurd, Bennett Robertson, Raymond Michael Whitlow Jr., Joshua Lewis Bolden, Brianne Page Boyd. Arts and Sciences, Brittany Carruthers. Jessica LaCathy Shavers. AJ Chiener Cohen. Natalie Shemaine Cole. Margaret Laporte Perra. Grant Thomas Milner. Jacob Lee Merriman. Felicia R. Wheeler, Keisha Simmons, Jonathan Romil Prayer, J. Roscoe Phillips, Kia Hope Peppard, Stephen Andrew Parker, Christopher Stephen Milam, Jordan Ellington Marble, Heather Lee Horton, Darlene Cindy Herchuk, Augustus Benjamin Cole, Tommy W. Wilson, William Brian Cottingham, Melissa Michelle Ray, Shelby Louise Wilson, Taylor Webb, Aisha Sherelle Smith, Wesley Paul Richardson, Maliqua I. Pillard, Martinique Lachey Overton, Jasmine Noble, Capri L. Murphy. The following candidates have earned the Bachelor of Music's degree Ariel Monet Campbell, Melody Gable Moore, Mark A. Bonner, Jr. Mar uh, Stacy Marie Zepka. Next. Keep going. Journalism. Okay. Journalism, Rachel Elizabeth Cummings. Raven Deneen McLean. Natalie Aaron Lloyd. Woo! Sam Lin. Woo! 
Brian Philip Hughes, uh, Erica Holmes, Corin T. Hightower, Justin Normal Harrison, Ebony Nicole Gunn, Kelsey Megan Tracy Gilliam, Jasmine Elizabeth Diener, Elizabeth uh, uh, Alicia L. Curry, Masters of Music. the Masters of Music, Jesse Daniel Altman. The, these are the candidates who have earned a degree in the College of Arts and Science, Dr. Thomas Neenan, Interim Dean. Mally Marie Dennis, Student Marshal, is receiving the Bachelor of Arts degree. The following candidates have earned the Master of Arts degree. Glenda X. Akers, Raed L. Albanon, Temi Awongara, Brittany Bibbs, Rachel Sandra Bailey, Kelly Berg Cooper, Mary Hemsdorfer Delgado, Caitlin V. Hudson, Bobby Christopher James, Kathleen L. Leftwich, Trish Maria Robertson, Marie, Mary Margaret Snow, Melissa Ann Stevens, Maya K. Swanson, Dominique Whitfield Tennant, Dania Zuninga Watson, Cynthia Hardison Wilbanks, Jessica Michelle Williams. The following candidates have earned the Master of Public Administration. Emily Kettner Adams, Kevin Elliott Clark, Allison Payne Smith, Randa Gay Raglan Spears, Alexander Lewis Stevens. The following candidates have earned the Master of Science degree. Dipendra Adikari, Huda Musli Almabadi, Gabrielle Gibson Banks, Megan Brian Battles, Shi Fang, Damba Fofana, Ruda Gwanwali, Katakika Ram Muthukwali, Peter Ogoto Nyoktu, Paige Ann Phillips, Lauren Elizabeth Regal, uh, Vinay Kumar Sisya. The following candidates have earned the Bachelor of Science degree. Amanda Christine Cantrell, Andrea Danell Graves, Eleanor Lynn Hopkins, Matthew Elliott Hotz, Trisha Deanne Johnson, Allison Nicole Lawler, Quinesha Jackia Mabry, Jennifer Lynn Riddle, Monique Nicole Sane, Samantha Ray Sharp, Cheryl Lynn Smart, Sadie Patricia Stodden, Chanel Tyler, Keisha May Williams, Jenna Lee Spanici, Matthew Dalton Berry, Larissa Cara Boyd, Tiffany Nicole Bryan, Kelly L. Brown, Jacqueline Ann Brunson, Benjamin James Cross, Bradley Parry Davis, Robert Jonathan Bruin, Kevin Anthony Estes, Cynthia Maricela Gamboa, Dominique M. Golden, Heather Michelle Hollingsworth, Caitlin Bernadette Markle, Latifa Alexandria Newbill, Molly L. Payne, Kyle Edward Peregui, Erica R. Person, Christopher Graham Finney, Valerie Beth Pyland, Amberly Christina Rungi, Tasha Turman, Tasha, you're welcome. Margaret Ann Williams, John, uh, John Edward Kilmar, Severin Owen Allgood, 
Trevor Gregory Basehart, Jessica Brown, Michelle K. Crawford, Sarah K. Crawford, Elizabeth Ellen Dial, <laughs> Seth Gilloy, Kevin Reed Hayes, Tanisha L. Johnson, Danielle Kitty, Caitlin Malana Klein, Mawusi Salim Lester, David Stephen Lewis, Joel Joseph Lewis, Kelly Sarah Long, Colby Mattis, Sarah Elizabeth Mocklin, Shalanda E. Awai Rose, James Wilson Russell, Eileen M. Stadler, Jamila A. Jakanu, Princess Janika Allen, Samuel Mark, Samuel Mark Allen Jr., Marilyn James Ammons, Jacqueline Dominique Anderson, Keisha T. Anderson, Morgan Austin, Wayne Eric Baker II, Gabrielle Kamika Banks, Madison Barber, Michelle Len Barnhart, Jacqueline Kelly Beecham, uh, Mariah Gillis Bell, Louis Jeffrey Bernson, Andrew Bishop, Rashonda Denise Bonds, Christopher Gant Bolden, Tiffany Nicole Boyce, Tanisha Elizabeth Branch Ware, Lakeisha D. Brooks, Candace Latrice Brown, Linda Bowie, John Michael Bursai, LaShonda A. Butler, Carol S. Caesar, Emily Calvo Hermida, Anna Morgan Candy, Aaron Leigh Carter, Harrison E. Chapman, Megan Bria Chapman, Christina Latrice Sherry, Alexandria Brooke Christian, Nicole Denise Clark, Christopher Lloyd Cody, Catherine Elizabeth Coleman, Cranchel M. Conley, Thomas Nathan Cooper, Kasim Lee Kosimi, Megan Hill Cross, Kenyatta Nicole Cunningham, Patrick Benjamin Curran, Amber Michelle Curtis, Kira Antoinette Daughtery, Danielle Monique Davis, Emily M. Drexler, Nuria Espin, Espin, Joshua J. Awing, Del Dolores E. Freeman, Gabrielle Alana Garcia, Lena Gulam Hassan, Marlene Elisa Glor, Aaron L. Graham, Brittany N. Harris, Michael W. Hardgrave, Samuel Kirby Harris, Tira Lashun Harris, Zabi Hassan, Rachel Hawkins, Patrick Lee Harrington, uh, Jacquez Mikel Hicks Sweeney, Katrian L. Hodge, Hodges, Tisha Rayshon Holmes, Kimberly Rochelle Hopkins, Mia V. Hunter, Rachel Lynn Hurt, Ryan Edward Jackson, Shundra Annette Jackson, Sean Tyler Jacobs, Derek Peake Jane, Tiffany Vachette Joe, 
Jordan L. John. Sierra Marche Johnson. Jasmine Nicole Johnson. Joseph B. Johnson. Kanisha Ann Johnson. Alicia Nashe Jones. Andrea Danielle Jones. Deandrea Nicolette Jones. Jessica Sarah Kane. Brando Wainan Kenan, Kenny Jr. Kalisa Patrice Kimball. Sabriana Kincaid. Jennifer Lee King. Carolyn Dom Kirongonthi. Brittany Nicole Lark. Justin K. Latham. Deandra S. Lee. Christopher Michael Lewis. Timothy Omar Liggins. Kevin A. Lippi. Tiffany Marie Markle. Anya Mazur. Deandra Marnell McBee. Courtney Lee McClure. Catrice Lavette Milner. Miles Alexandria Mote. Christopher Stephen Montoya. Cassie Elizabeth Moore. Margaret Fleming Moore. Elizabeth Samuel Mandoa. Tasha Monique Moore. Ayana Arnailing Yamini. Christopher Robert Nasser. Jocelyn Lynette Neal. Christopher Ann Nyswinger. Ravi Chantelal Patel. Jamie Danielle Pearson. Aaron Poindexter. Matthew J. Purdy. Rachel Elaine Rice. Je Jessica Nicole Riviera. Simon R. Ruhlman. Sharon Danielle Scarborough. Brianna Jasmine Scott. Amber Nicole Short. Thank you. Lucinda Gabrielle Short. Adam Hugh Simpson. Kendrick D. Sims. Justin Aaron Smith. Rashandra Elaine Sewell. Jasmine Patrice Stansbury. Samantha Michelle Sutton. Bernard Taylor Jr. Holly Deanne Taylor. Lakeisha Nicole Thomas. William A. Tolbert II. Amber Alexis Tony. Hannah Patrice Tyser. Haley Fieldhaber. Tower Marie Wakefield. Thomas Washburn. Courtney N. Watson. Kelly Shea Weekly. Terence Andrew Wicks. Danielle Eugene Tillman. Myra Gail Wilkins. Rachel Ann Williamson. Justin Allen Robleski. Stacy Marie Yarborough. The following candidates have earned the Bachelor of Science degree. Adam Alian. Shakita Devanashi Anderson. Jessica Marie Cornelius. Alexandra Jungren. Abby L. Randolph. Jennifer Faye Young. John Richard Boney. Jesse Brian Boswell III. Farah Saeed Al Aina. Jeffrey John Frost. Sunday L. Gray. Jamie Marie Henson. Justin Jerome Macklin. English Alexandria Maffitt. Zachary Kansi Mungberedi. Dina O'Day. Narga Salamat. Heather M. Spangler. Genesis Lachey Anderson. 
Kenneth Liddell Armstrong II. Marin Lee Barrett. Sean Daniel Beach. Matthew Brian Butawin. Chantelle Marie Cohen. Mackenzie Renee Curlin. Brandon Chavez Curry. Lauren Denise Duke. Lauren Nicole Dunn. Antonique Charnay Farsi. Eric David Stewart Gamble. Tia LaCree Johnson. Nikki John Cooler. Abby Shane Lewis. Shanika Fashe Moore. Antoinette Michelle Morris. Sanam Patel. Stephen Wesley Savoy. Brianna Jasmine Scott. Clive Wesley Troer. Kristen Leanne Wallen. Thomas Keith Walter. Ethan Willis. William Charles Wright. Kamitra Diana Thomas. Justin Z. Schweiger. The following candidate has earned the Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. Clayton Phillips Scruggs. Is that everybody? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, graduates. Now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. I mean, there's, there are a lot of people in this room that provided you the love, the support, the challenges, the encouragement, everything it took along with your hard work and drive to succeed with the degree that you have just earned. You've had the privilege of working with a very special group of people during your time at the University of Memphis. They are the faculty and the staff who chose their profession very intentionally and very intently because of their commitment to learning, sharing, student success, the creation of knowledge, and service. Will you graduates today join with me in expressing your appreciation as they stand to the faculty and staff present here today of the great University of Memphis. Will the faculty and staff please stand. And I have a sense, judging from the uh, spirit of the crowd, that there are some people here today that were involved in giving you the love, the support, the energy, and stood with you every step along the way. If you are here today because someone you care deeply about has graduated, will you please stand and let us recognize you? And one last thing, 
There's one last exam that you have to take. You can't leave the University of Memphis without making darn sure you are proficient on how we cheer for the Tigers. Now, tomorrow, our men's basketball team is going to travel to New York, where on Tuesday, on the national stage at the Jimmy V Classic, they're going to represent this great university in this great city. So as they depart in this building that is getting used to being rocked, will you, on the count of three, join me with one big go Tigers? One, two, three, go Tigers! Now you're talking. It's been a great morning. It's been a great morning. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, all who have participated in getting us to this point today. Will you now please um, join us in the singing of the alma mater would all please stand for the singing of the alma mater. It's in page 62 of your program. One stanza, and after that stanza, please remain in your seats until the, uh, the group has, uh, the processional group has uh, gone down the aisle. Thank you very much.